How's it going? My name is Neon and welcome back to another Shindo Life video. And in today's video, we will be checking out the Shadow Bloodline. And uh well, yeah, okay, so Shadow is a PvP bloodline, quote unquote. Um but in reality it's a PvE bloodline. Everybody only uses it because of the C spec. I'm not saying that it's a bad bloodline, I'm just saying like there's no real reason to use it. There are way better bloodlines. It's a 1 out of 30 bloodline. It revolves around immobilizing enemies through the use of shadows and it makes it ideal for PvP. Uh, at least that's what it says on the Shindo Life wiki. But in reality, like I said, it's mostly a PvE bloodline. Uh, but yeah, so um, yeah, let's get right into it. So first we're gonna just quickly mode up. And as you can see, you can see the stats on the right. Um, they're half decent for a 1 out of 30, um, you know, bloodline. In terms of looks, it's just like a little shadow around you with like a little, you know, whatever those things are. Ribbons, I guess. Um, it's, it's okay. Uh, mode drain is decently high. I think it's like 50 a second. Um, yeah, okay. So let's get started. So the only one that actually deals damage to the logs is, uh, the first move, which is called stitching. Uh, just press V and it does about 56,000 damage. Uh, now you're gonna have to give me a second I'm gonna have to go start a scroll mission to show you the other two so I'll see you in one second Okay, so here we are we have some rogue dune assassins right here And yeah, so the next ability up which is on the B as you can see is called reflect and you have to use your mouse cursor And pretty much it just brings your enemy towards you, which is pretty nice uh, And then the next one and it's the last one. It's called reflect overload uh, pretty much same thing just hold your cursor on your enemies and just I don't know if you saw that, but it stunned them for a second. Uh, but that's literally it. Uh, so now, uh, for probably the best move in the bloodline, let me just hit them real quick. There we go. Just to aggravate them a little bit. They might hit me some, but it's really no big deal. Okay, so there we go. And this is probably the best move right here. The C-Spec. Um, it's a lot better on Tailed Beasts and other bosses in general. But it's a really good C-Spec in general. Uh, I'm about to go do it on Happy real quick in one second. Let me just take care of these guys real quick and I'll see you in one second. Okay, so we're really quickly going to start Happy just to show you the C-Spec and how good it is. It's a really good C-Spec. Uh, it's pretty much the exact same as Apollo Sand. Uh, here we go. He's going to run at us and we're going to put our... That felt miserably. But as you can see, single-handedly, just the C-Spec did over a million damage to this tail beast. It's a really good C-Spec, I love it. Um, so if you don't have Apollo Sand, it's kind of like the off-brand Apollo Sand, and in some ways it's better because I think the cooldown is exactly the same, or maybe a little um, little faster. But yeah, apart from that, you can also use it down here. Uh, let's put this down real quick. There we go. About a million damage right there. Oh yes, I, I totally recommend using the Avalanche with this. See, he's already halfway dead and we've only used about four moves. Um, but yeah, apart from that, that's pretty much the end of the video. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, overall, Shadow is a pretty decent bloodline. It's not really the best, but to be fair, it's a 1 out of 30. So, it's not particularly meant to be, you know, the best bloodline in the game. It's pretty decent for PvE. It's really good for you beginners that just are just starting off the game and need something to get off the ground with. Or for the people that are just grinding uh, Gen 3s uh, in general, or just Tail Beasts in general. But apart from that, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want more, feel free to tell me in the comments. And if you have any other suggestions for any bloodlines you want to see, um, yeah, just feel free to tell me. So apart from that, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. So yeah, peace out, guys.